Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon where I'll be talking about the movies, TV shows, I don't know, whatever. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, of course, I'll be talking about it. And anyway, so uh, the Shaggy Dog DA. So I did review the first part of this series not that long ago so i figured eh might as well talk about the second one i guess because as i often said my rule my rule of thumb is that if i review one entry of a series i might as well go for them all i mean unless there's like a specific reason i can't but otherwise yes generally speaking i want to talk about every entry of, of uh, any given franchise that i'll be speaking about on this channel anyway so okay whatever as always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So anyway, our main character, so yeah, shape shifting into a dog. Yep, a human shape shifting into a dog. That seems like a weird statement to make, but that's pretty much the central idea here. So as a result, our main character we get into some s serious trouble, of course. And yes, it doesn't make life easier for our main character whatsoever. But bottom line is that. Of course, a main character here is all grown up and is running for this kind of job, this district attorney, so to speak. However, it's not all easy, of course. Gotta have some drama, of course. It's a comedy, obviously, but even then, it doesn't mean everything's gonna be easy. He finds himself, once again, turning into this this kind of dog, and it really in private moments, of course. But there's more to this than. And this, of course, he has, has a fight against corruption. Obviously, he wants, to, of course, he wants to do the right thing. He wants to do the right thing, obviously, but it's not easy as it seems. Yes, this is, of course, is a sequel to the film, the original movie about a boy who gets turned into a dog because of some ancient ring, which has some say is cursed. Now, today, that boy is all grown up. He's a grown man, and yes, of course, a lawyer. And with a family and all that jazz, when they're robbed, and let's just say our main character does attempt to report to the police, but only gets the runaround, so to speak. So he decides to run for a district attorney or DA and whatnot because he believes that the current DA is not only not doing his job, but also is on the take, so to speak. But yes, of course. There's something fishy going on. There's something that needs to be done, obviously. Because not all is what it seems concerning the fact, like I was saying, that maybe there's a bit of corruption. Maybe somebody's being dishonest here. And yes, obviously, he publicly denounces this individual when this individual decides to get something on him. And he might have found it when the ring that turned him into a dog when he was a boy is stolen from the museum and when the word inside are read he gets turned to, to a dog and whatnot so things get rather crazy as you might expect yes of course our main character just wants to have a life and just do what he, he deems fit for him quite clearly so it seems okay fairly straightforward but no of course not we can't have that Nah. Anyway, yes, of course, this is definitely one of the better live-action movies I've been reviewing from the studio. Of course, it's, it's a bit corny, obviously, it really is, but that's kind of that's kind of the charm when it comes to a lot of these older Disney movies. Though, yeah, it's still a bit on the cheesy side, but still, it's, like I said, it's part of the charm. Not that I'm complaining, though, but that's, that's to be expected, really. What really matters is the story, the characters, and for what it's worth, it does a pretty decent job for what we're trying to do here. Again, like I said before, I'm not really a dog person at all. I much rather keep a cat. However, that that, that shouldn't matter. That should not really matter what at all because ultimately, what I care about is a good story. The story here is pretty solid as a whole. 
And again, the devil says that, yes, of course, our main character, he wants to do the honest thing, he wants to do the right thing, because he feels that it's morally right. No matter what the circumstance is, he wants to do the right thing, of course. So yeah, this this, this definitely has his moments, of course, throughout the entire thing. And I like the flow of the story, the, the director definitely knew what he was trying to do, so of course, this was definitely uh, a solid storyline. I mean, yes, it does have a bit of a formula towards it, but there was still some effort that was done for the storyline. It's still enjoyable, of course. And I can definitely say that, while I wouldn't exactly call this a masterpiece by, by any means, but it does its best for what the material it has, of course. Surprisingly enough, I can definitely say that the movie is very choreographed. The way it's definitely is dragged is very choreographed. The music does its job here. So all that is nicely done. So I can't complain in that regard. It's well edited. So I can't say that it's not sloppily made. It's well produced, of course. There's a decent budget towards it. And it does give me an excuse to talk about some old movies. Which, honestly, I probably would have done anyway. It, because I'm often talking about old stuff to begin with on this channel. I've done it multiple times before. So why should I stop now? So there you go. Anyway, I don't know. I can recommend this for, I guess, for selective people who like to watch old, the older Disney movies. I know there are some Disney fans out there that don't want, don't, they don't want to watch the old stuff. Which seems kind of bizarre if you ask me, but whatever. Or yeah, I'm not, that's not that's not the only thing. I know those people in general, not just with Disney, but just don't watch the old st old movies in in general because they're old. It seems weird if you ask me, but I've always preferred to watch the old stuff anyway because just cinema in recent years hasn't really been the same. Not always, which yes, it's something I complained about before, and yes, unfortunately Disney is no exception to this. Anyway, yada 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 blah 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 blah. I would still recommend this anyway because, like I was saying, it's it's worth the watch. It's one of the better live action films I've seen over the years. So there's that, and I actually remember this film when it wore, first originally came out. Yeah, I remember. The, oh boy, yeah, I went. To, I actually went. To, want, I actually wanted to watch this kind of stuff even back then. Well, I am a lot older than what do you think I am, folks. Oh. Yeah, human being shape shifting in a dog. Again, that still sounds really weird saying out loud, but there you go. Well, anyway, I'll give this film a, an overall rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It gives a 7.0 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah, later. Mm -hmm.